I feel great, honestly. Uh, it was a mental year for me more than anything, I believe, you know, outside of, you know, rehabbing. But just, you know, grasping the game and just, you know, everything slowed down for me, you know, being a year off. So I really took advantage of it. So did you go back and look at the film of yourself? Or did you Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I went in. I was very critical of myself. You know, I just studied a lot. Is there a way you get to the roots that a DB might be ready to make a gamble, ready to take a gamble on, on going for a pick against you? Absolutely. I mean, that's what film study is. You know, a lot of guys, you know, they're creatures of their, you know, own tendencies. And that's what, you know, we, we, we be in film study just going over those different different things. So, yeah. How do you combat it if you know a guy's going to I mean, that's all game planning, you know. Um, the, that's what the coaches get paid for, and we got to go out there and make the plays, and we got stuff to, you know, counter what they do. What has it been like just developing that chemistry with, with Tannehill in the classroom as well on the field? Oh, it's been amazing, man. Tannehill is a guy that's going to give you an opportunity, man. That's what I love playing with him. Uh, the chemistry we've been growing since, you know, OTAs, and we just got to continue it throughout the season. Coach, you offered the joy to you. Thank you. Coach O'Hara, the QB coach, he has said that, you know, in the film, it's, it's Julio, Tannehill, AJ. You're getting first hand I mean, well, at the end of the day, you know, we're the players and it's all on us. It's our team. So uh, we got to be, you know, we got to be on the same page and a lot of communication, man, outside of the coaches. Uh, so just seeing it firsthand, I'm on the front row too, you know, so just seeing those guys watch, man, this is very inspiring. I'm just, I'm learning every day from them. Oh, I mean, I, I manifest a lot of things, so I wasn't I wasn't sweating it. I felt like, you know, I put in the work, and now I just got to go out there and, you know, continue to do what I did all through training camp and OTA. So um, I'm excited. My role is, you know, I got a role, you know what I'm saying? I just got to make plays when the ball come my way, you know, from return and in the slot, you know, whatever it is, wherever they got me, I'm ready. Do you appreciate even more now? I mean, you've obviously played a long time in this league, and now you kind of worked yourself back to this point. Does it make you appreciate it even more now? Absolutely. I think uh, this opportunity I got now is just as rewarding as when I came in as an undrafted free agent uh, my rookie year. You know, uh, I really went out there and I and I earned it every single day. So uh, I'm not taking it for granted. None of the opportunities I get, I'm, I'm taking full advantage of it. How did you change kind of transitions yesterday? I think when you came in the league, you were more outside and then you sort of changed more into a slot. What, what makes for a successful slot and see how you kind of make that? Yeah, my first two years, I was definitely outside. Uh, you had T.Y. inside, but um, just learning, man, that slot is different. It's different from outside. You got a lot of different looks. You know, I'm either going against a nickel, a safety, or a linebacker. Everything is changing, and you got to be a very smart player, you know, playing in the slot. Like I said, it's different from outside. So um, I take, you know, I take it very serious. What do you like about that, maybe, as opposed to playing outside? It's just, you know, you, you got to find the boys, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups, you know, especially on third down, um, and it's just – I just love the slot, honestly. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. But um yeah.